to infinity and beyond. Our next topic, which is kind of like the only, I would say it's like the bad news of the week, really, um, was Disney kind of slid out the information that Disney's Enchanted Tales app is going to be closing down later this month. Closing down from April um, 30th on all platforms, including the App Store and Google Store. Um, they basically said Disney will be no longer accepting any new purchases or downloads, and the game will no longer be available to launch or play from April 30th. So the fact that it's not even going to be able to launch it from the end of the month. And um, Disney added, we are greatly appreciate the passion and support of all our players. This was a difficult decision, but we ultimately the game did not attract the audience we hoped for, and as well, we plan to focus our efforts on new games for our fans and community. Thank you for playing. Um, this game only launched in September. It, this is how you know it's like you, there was no publicity. It came out with a whimper and a prayer. It kind of fizzled. There was no events. They, I mean, they talk about it like not having the players. It didn't seem there was. It, Nobody seemed to be talking about it. I mean, we didn't want to play it. We, we I remember downloading it, playing game. It, it felt like a a light version of Disney Magic Kingdoms, and I can't help but feel that a lot of people felt the same. I mean, it absolutely was. It occupies the exact same space as Disney Magic Kingdoms. It's just aimed at a younger audience. And the problem with aiming it out of the younger audience is in this day and age, we're no longer in the, you know, angry birds, flappy birds where parents aren't paying attention to what their kids are buying on their mobile yeah. devices. So you're not going to see whales in a game like Enchanted Tales, yeah. especially when you have Disney Magic Kingdoms there. So this, I think, was another one of those examples of Disney having too many games occupying one space and yeah. the lesser of the two. Uh, got knocked out. Now, I am surprised at how quickly they're taking it down. Just like, oh, yeah, it's going down, and by the way, you have until the end of the month. Mm. But, yeah. You know. I mean, yeah, it definitely as well as that kind of thing as well. It shows that issue of digital uh, in app purchases and the problem with this whole process of, you know, we were talking about Kingdom um, Disney Magic Kingdoms earlier, and you know, that idea of, you know, you're paying in for the stuff to have to build a collection to get going. And at any given point, they can literally just kind of go. And, you, you know, you, you've you got to think of in-app purchases as as just eating a piece of candy. Uh, they are disposable, easy come things. And, you know, if you've played this app for six months and enjoyed it, that's what you should take away from it. Um, but it does kind of send the worrying trend. Disney have been very, I mean... You know, they've closed down a lot of apps, you know, Disney Magic Kingdoms, so you've had the um, Avengers, the two of them games got cancelled, Disney Infinity obviously was cancelled, they've pulled the plug on, a hundred, I think, dozens of other old games, that they literally now seem to be going down the line of any support coming through that needs any external servers, or any game that's not bringing enough money is being canned, and I can't help but wonder if a lot of this is because they're outsourcing or, um, a lot of their games. Um, and maybe it's just streamlining. This game, I th it's a shame because, I, you know, the artistic style of it is just way too similar to another game they had. And at the same time, if you're putting a game out there, you need to publicize it. You need to promote it. And this game just fell through the crack. It just literally just straight through. It didn't seem to hit any anything at all. Now, we did see a couple of uh, announcements throughout the year as they'd be like, oh, such and such is being added to the game. Uh, this uh, Beauty and the Beast is being attached to the game and stuff like that. But I think when this got announced as being canceled, a lot of people were just like, oh, right, I remember that game. Or even, yeah. wait, what game are you talking about? Yeah. yeah, I mean, and I'll be honest, I think Moana Island Life is probably going to be falling down that crack. I mean, I've installed it on my phone. I still haven't even fired it up. That's how it was like. There are some of these games that they are launching, and it's like, they're just not there's just too much out the app store is absolutely flooded with games and the good will rise and the, and the bad will just fade away and can't help but sometimes feel with some of these games they need to maybe try and make them so that they are maybe they have that offline playability where they are just a solid game you know someone like frozen free fall or you know even like inside that you know the inside that puzzle that game's still going and with my wife still playing it because it's a fun game, and it doesn't actually require a lot of things. I think the trouble is with these building things, they require a lot more server-side. and Yeah, 
I, the only thing is that the day they announced it was not a good day. I mean, <laughs> they literally put up the. I think they updated the website on the thirty first. By the time some people had, I think, had realized, and there was an. I saw a tweet or something saying it, it was cancelled. So I found it and put up the story. Of course, it was April first, and all I had was people coming and going. Oh, you're the April Fool's? Like, no, it's not. It's like. This is, you know, it's like I hate April Fools, and I hate the whole web, the whole way the the web goes. For literally, for us, it was like, right, we don't, I don't, I don't like doing April Fools jokes. We're not doing any stories like this for the next week, for basically from Thursday till probably the end of this week. I'm triple checking every single story to make sure it's not an April Fools joke. Yeah, so I did really did, and it was like it was all over the official, and there was so many bits like this is not. This is not an April Fool. And it's like, this is really wouldn't be a very funny April Fool's. Would be just, we're just going to close down a random bad, you know. It's not like, the, you know, Nintendo coming out. Oh, we're going to delete. It's like, it, this, this, this is not a very good, it would, just wouldn't be a very funny story. Yeah. Um, we we decided that the Zelda Breath of the Wild didn't sell as well as we wanted to. So we're yanking it from the servers. And yeah. even if you bought the cartridge, it's not working anymore. Yeah. yeah. I mean... That's the thing about this, is it's not just we're no longer supporting the game. We're actively pulling the servers down, yeah. so it must have bombed pretty bad in yeah. terms of, like, revenue versus what they were expecting. It might even have been uh, in, it might even have been a loss, which would be pretty impressive in this day and age for the mm. mo mobile market. But Disney does seem to be doing uh, quality control by player reaction yeah. or something like that. So... Yeah, I think we're going to continue to see this uh, throw everything at the wall and see what sticks approach. But, you know, I suspect that fans are going to start to, to kind of latch onto that and be like, well, we'll wait to see what sticks before yeah. actually playing it, and then nothing will stick. Because if you look at the movies, you know, we're willing to give them a lot of leeway with movies that yeah. we might not otherwise be willing to give them a shot on, especially over in, like, the Marvel universe. Yeah. That's why Guardians of the Galaxy was a huge success in the first place, because we're like, I don't know who these characters are, but I yeah. like your other movies, so I'll go ahead and watch this. And we're going to get the reverse effect here, where people are like, oh, this game looks interesting, but I have zero faith that you're going to support this game yeah. a couple months from now. I'm going to be honest, this is where I'm starting a little bit worried about their support strategies for these, you know, it's like, how quickly are they pulling, you know, digital purchases are, you know, I mean, there's this whole thing about, you know, don't buy a game digitally because if they pull the service, you're not going to be able to play the game. And it's like, the way that games are on the big consoles and stuff, that's kind of, you haven't really got an option because the whole game is downloaded after you've installed it anyway to fix it or just to finish the game. I mean, but yeah, I am very, very wary of putting in a lot of money into a game. I mean, even like with Magic Kingdom, I'm like, Gaston, well, are you guys going to pull the plug next month because you've not taken enough money? It's like, yeah, I'm not willing to put... And, yeah, like you say, it, it's definitely not, not a good move. Yeah, we'll have to see if there's any fallout from this. And especially since in the same week, as we'll talk about in a moment, they announced not one but two new games. Yes. Uh, so uh, it's kind of a mixed message, and, and we'll see if uh, consumer confidence remains high in Disney Mobile products. Okay.